Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. I'm Brittany Schaefer. This week's topic is twitching eyes. What causes one's eye to twitch? The most common cause of eyelid twitch is unknown. Usually, they can be benign in nature. They're not particularly caused by any pathology, but um, they're extremely bothersome. How long does an eye spasm tend to last? Some twitches are just moments and seconds. Uh, they may come in uh, sequences where they last for a few minutes and then go away for days at a time. If twitches are benign, like uh, what we call a myokymia, then usually they'll go away after a couple of weeks. If they persist beyond that, then they can be linked to other conditions called blepharospasm, where it affects both sides, or even hemifacial spasms, where it affects one whole side of the face. And those tend to be continuous. Are eye spasms dangerous? Most eyelid twitches are not dangerous. They're usually just related to stress, lack of sleep, too much caffeine, too much nicotine. When we worry about them is when they don't go away after a couple of weeks, given that we've reduced whatever our current stressors are, or given that we've minimized any uh, excess caffeine and, and smoking, then we start to look for other more dangerous causes. There's a facial nerve that, if, that gives us movement to this entire side, and when that is triggered or pinched somewhere, it can cause us to have spasms. If it's just around the eyelid area, it's less likely to be pathologic. But if it's affecting the entire side of the face, then we begin to look, even with imaging, like an MRI, at the entire track of that nerve to see is it being pinched in any area that can then be treated. Can anything be done to stop an eye from twitching? The first thing is just relaxation, warm compresses, making sure that we're eliminating any particular cause of a spasm. The more common ones would be blepharitis, where there's oil glands that line the lid margin that get a little bit dry and it causes irritation and itching and can cause twitching. So we treat that with warm compresses, gentle lid scrubs, using baby shampoo to wash the lashes, and lots of artificial tears. If that fails, then we begin to look for other causes like an irregular lash that may be rubbing the eye or severe dry eye, which again could be treated with preservative-free artificial tears. When should you see a doctor for an eye spasm? You might ask if anyone is around who sees you when you're sleeping, is the lid twitch present when you're sleeping? Oh. That's a tip off that it may be something more severe. If it goes away when you're resting, then it's a tip off that it's usually benign in nature. Um, if it's affecting more, more facial muscles than just the eyelid area, then it should be worked up medically. It's always good to start with your primary care doctor and then get referred to whichever specialist is appropriate for what's going on because we may find that it's a medical cause that's, that's creating the twitching of the face mm -hmm. that's beyond just ophthalmologic. Is there a difference between blinking and twitching? It's possible that you have excess blinking from an irregular lash or from severe dry eye or from blepharitis where the oil glands lining the lid margin cause dry oil along the lid to become an irritant to the surface of the eye. You can also have excess blinking with any excess wind or allergies, especially different times of year. So um, if we eliminate those causes and you still have the excess blinking or spasms, then we begin to look for other causes. 